So today, Christmas has come early. We are generating Christmas decorations for, we've got a studio tour of Japan. There's over eight 20 foot high trees that will need decorating. One of the really important aspects of, of us making these Christmas decorations is they match absolutely to the originals. So we try to keep it the authentic in the sense of processes and materials, but also the people doing it. Actually, some of the guys that are working on these today are actually the people that made the originals as well. At the top of the tree is the giant star, and then instead of a fairy at the top of the Christmas tree, we have a witch flying around the Christmas tree. I'm currently making a Christmas pudding. Vast experience of eating Christmas puddings help. As part of those feasting tables, there's these, these lovely Christmas cakes. And on top of them, these little snowmen. And they're all up to different activities on top of the, the cakes. I'm making little bits and pieces for the snowman cake. There's a little snowman body there, carrot noses, little hands, which are adorable hats and little snowballs. In the first films, the food sequences, originally we used real food. This looked fantastic, but after a few days, uh, the smell within the set and in the stage was so unbearable. So the decision was made for us to look at replicating a lot of the pieces as replica foods rather than the real food. I used to work at the studio tour as an interactor for many years um, and I love being inside the Great Hall at Christmas but one of our regular roles was to have to stop visitors from actually reaching over the barrier to touch the food because it did look so real. We have joints of ham, big giant turkeys, bowls of peas and roast potatoes all decorated in the Christmas feast.